Let's shoot for the stars. Living life every day, let it die. Not okay, all I want. And I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy. Did you catch that documentary on space travel last night? Oh, the one about Mars colonization? Yes, it was fascinating how they plan to sustain life there. Makes you wonder about the future, doesn't it? Absolutely. It's like a whole new era of exploration. Imagine being one of the first to step onto another planet. That would be incredible. Speaking of which, I've been toying with the idea of taking some aerospace courses online. You know, just to understand the basics of astrophysics and engineering. That sounds ambitious. Are you thinking about a career change? Or just for fun? More for fun, I guess. But who knows where it might lead? Maybe it's not too late for a small shift. Let's shoot for the stars, right? Exactly. Why limit ourselves? If you're really into it, I say go for it. It's all about chasing those big dreams. True. Stepping out of our comfort zones is how we grow. Maybe one day we'll look back from a space station and laugh about this conversation. I'll hold you to that. Let's check those courses out together. Make it a little adventure. But I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me. And honestly, I'm not. Figure out, solve a problem, or discover the cause of something. Have you managed to figure out what was causing the error on your laptop? Yes, finally. It took a bit of digging. But I discovered it was an outdated driver that was messing everything up. That's a relief. How did you figure it out? I went through the system logs and noticed that the error messages started right after a recent update. Then I checked the forums and a few people had the same issue. They suggested updating all the drivers. Good detective work. So everything's running smoothly now. It's like night and day. No crashes. No errors. I'm just glad I could figure it out without having to take it to a repair shop. Definitely saves you time and money. It's always satisfying to solve a problem like that yourself. Absolutely. Plus, I learned a bit more about how my computer works, which is always a bonus. Knowledge like that always comes in handy. Good job on figuring it out. Cool off, become less angry or heated. Did you manage to talk to Jenna after that argument you two had? Yes. I waited for us both to cool off a bit before I approached her. It seemed like the best way to handle it. That sounds wise. It's hard to solve anything in the heat of the moment. Did it help? It really did. Once we had both calmed down, we could discuss everything more rationally. We realized it was just a big misunderstanding. I'm glad to hear that. It's impressive how stepping back a little can change the whole perspective. Absolutely. Cooling off first allowed us to listen to each other without getting defensive. It turns out we were actually upset about different things. It's funny how that happens. So are things back to normal now? Yeah, we're good now. We even laughed about how worked up we got. I think we both learned a lot from this. It's great that you could turn that around. 
Maintaining peace is always worth that extra effort. Let's lay our cards on the table. We've been tiptoeing around the subject of our road trip for weeks now. I think it's time we finally sorted out the details. Agreed. Let's lay our cards on the table. What's your main concern? Well, the biggest thing for me is the budget. I don't want us to overspend, especially on accommodations. And eating out. That's a fair point. We should definitely set a daily limit for expenses. Maybe we could also look into cheaper lodging options, like hostels or Airbnb. That sounds good. And perhaps we could plan some meals ourselves? Buying groceries. And cooking can save us a lot more than eating at restaurants every day. I like that idea. It's healthier, too. What about the route and activities? Do you have any preferences there? Not really. As long as we have a good mix of outdoor activities and some cultural sites. What about you? I'm on the same page. Let's draft a tentative route tonight and identify some potential. Stops. We can adjust as needed based on our interests and the budget. Perfect, let's do that. This is shaping up to be an exciting trip. Shut up, stop talking. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Did you watch the game last night? Yes, I did. It was incredible. The last minute goal was unbelievable. I know, right? I couldn't believe it. The whole place went wild. My friends wouldn't shut up about it. They kept replaying the highlights over and over. That's hilarious. I can imagine. It's one of those moments that gets everyone talking. Yeah, but after a while, no why -E. I just wanted them to shut up so we could focus on something else. It was a bit much. I get that. Sometimes people get too carried away. What did you think of the team's overall performance? I thought they played really well, especially in the second half. They seemed more organized. I agree. They really pulled it together after halftime. What about the other team? They were strong, but our team just had that extra edge. Think over, consider carefully before deciding. I've been offered a new job, but I'm not sure if I should take it. Can we talk it over? Of course. What are the pros and cons? Well, the new job offers a higher salary and better benefits, but it would require me to move to a different city. That's a big decision. Have you had time to think it over? I have, but I'm still undecided. I really like my current job and the city I live in. Moving would mean starting over. It sounds like you need to think it over some more. Have you considered the long-term benefits? Yes, the new job has more opportunities for advancement. But I'm also worried about leaving my friends and family behind. That's a valid concern. Maybe you should think it over and make a list of what's most important to you. That's a good idea. I need to think it over and weigh all the factors before making a decision. Take your time. This is a big step, and you want to be sure you're making the right choice. Thanks for the advice. I'll think it over and see what feels right. In the jewelry store.
Hello, I'm looking for a gift. Could you show me some of your bracelets? Certainly. Are you looking for something in gold or silver? I think silver would be best. Right this way. We have some lovely sterling silver bracelets. Here's one with a charm design that's been quite popular. And this one here features natural turquoise stones. They're beautiful. How much is the one with turquoise? That one is $120. It's handmade and the stones are ethically sourced. That sounds perfect. Could you gift wrap it for me? Of course. We offer complimentary gift wrapping. Would you like a card included? Yes, please. Just something simple. All right, I'll take care of that. Will there be anything else? That will be all, thank you. You're welcome. I'll have this ready for you in just a few minutes. Get over, recover from, an illness or setback. How are you feeling now? Have you managed to get over that flu you had last week? Yes, I'm finally feeling better. It took a full week, but I think I'm over the worst of it. That's good to hear. It's tough being sick and having to miss out on things. Definitely. I had to postpone so many plans. It's frustrating, but I'm just glad to be up and about again. Are you back to your normal routine then? Mostly, yes. I started going back to the gym today, but I'm taking it slow. Don't want to push it too hard too soon. Smart move. It's important to give your body the time it needs to fully recover. Exactly. I learned that the hard way. Trying to rush back to activities never helps. It's better to take the extra time to fully get over the illness. Absolutely. Here's to staying healthy and keeping it that way. That's the spirit. Did you hear about the Charity Marathon next month? Yes, I did. Are you planning to participate? I am. I've never run a marathon before, but I'm excited to give it a try. That's the spirit. It's for a great cause. And it's a fantastic way to challenge yourself. Absolutely. I've been training for a few weeks now, trying to build up my endurance. How's the training going? It's tough, but I'm making progress. I can run five miles now without stopping. That's impressive. Keep it up, and you'll be ready in no time. Thanks. Are you thinking about joining too? I'm not much of a runner, but I'm considering volunteering. They need people to hand out water and snacks. That's a great idea. Every bit of help counts, and it's still being part of the event. Exactly. Plus, it's a good way to support everyone who's running. Definitely. Together, we can make this event a success. Agreed. Let's do our best to contribute in any way we can. Play down. Minimize the importance of something. Did you hear about the new policy changes coming next month? They seem pretty significant. Yeah, I saw the email, but I think the management is trying to play it down. They mentioned it only briefly, at the end of the meeting today. I noticed that too. They seem to focus more on the upcoming company events, rather than the policy changes. It's a bit concerning. True. 
they should definitely address it more thoroughly. A lot of us have questions and concerns about how these changes will affect our daily work. Exactly. I get the feeling they're minimizing the impact to avoid pushback. We should request a dedicated session to discuss this in detail. I agree. Understanding the full scope is crucial for everyone. Playing down something this important doesn't really help in the long run. I'll talk to HR and see if we can arrange a meeting. It's better to have all the information up front. Good idea. Let's make sure we're fully informed so we can prepare adequately. Let's agree to disagree. Have you seen the latest superhero movie that everyone's talking about? Yes, I did. I thought it was fantastic. The action scenes were incredible. Really? I felt like the story was all over the place. The plot didn't make much sense to me. I can see where you're coming from, but I think the visual effects and character development made up for it. I don't know. The characters felt pretty flat to me especially the villain. There was no depth to his motivations. I actually liked the villain. His backstory was tragic, and it added a layer of complexity. I guess we just have different tastes in movies. I prefer a strong storyline over flashy effects. And I enjoy a visually stunning film with great action. It keeps me entertained. Well, let's agree to disagree. Everyone has their own preferences. Fair enough. It's what makes discussions about movies so interesting. Absolutely. Different perspectives can make the conversation more dynamic. In the flea market. Excuse me, how much are these vintage comic books priced at? Those are $5 each. But if you buy more than five, they go down to $3 each. That's a good deal. I'll definitely take a few. Do you have any from the early 90s? Yes, right over here in this box. I have several issues from that era. Feel free to dig through them. Thanks. Do you get new collections often? Pretty regularly. I pick up new stuff from estate sales and auctions every month. So the selection keeps changing. Great, I'll check back then. Oh, and what about these old records? How much are those? The records are $10 each. But if you find any that aren't in the best condition, I can give them to you for $7. I'll take a look. Thanks for the information. No problem. Enjoy browsing. And let me know if you have any other questions. Traveling by train. Is this seat taken? No, go ahead. Great, thanks. It's my first time on this route. Does this train stop at Riverside Station? Yes, it does. Riverside will be the fourth stop from here. You've got about 30 minutes. Perfect, that gives me enough time to settle in. Is there usually a dining car on this train? Yes, there's one two cars back. They have some decent options if you're hungry. Or just want a coffee. That sounds good. I might head over there in a bit. Do you travel this route often? Pretty regularly, yeah. I commute for work. 
It's a nice ride, usually pretty smooth. Good to know. I'm traveling for a meeting in Riverside. I hope it's a scenic route. Oh, definitely. Especially as you get closer to Riverside. The views by the river are beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for the info. No problem. Enjoy your trip. I'm so fed up with this. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming. Have you finished the project report yet? Not yet. I'm so fed up with this. It seems like every time I make progress, there's another change or new request. I know what you mean. The constant revisions are exhausting. Exactly. It feels like we're never going to get it done at this rate. Have you talked to the manager about it? Maybe we can get some clarity on the final requirements. I tried, but he just keeps saying to stay flexible and adapt as needed. That's frustrating. We need a clear direction to work efficiently. Yes, and the deadlines aren't changing even though the scope keeps expanding. Maybe we should request a meeting to discuss this as a team. It's not just you feeling overwhelmed. That's a good idea. If we all express our concerns, they might realize how unmanageable this has become. Let's do it. We can't keep working like this without any structure. Agreed. I'll send out a message to everyone to arrange a meeting. Perfect. Hopefully, we can get some clarity and move forward more effectively. It's essential the grind is all in your mental and I don't think you understand what I'll go through. I'm so ecstatic for your news. I just got the email. I'm officially accepted into the master's program I applied for. Really? That's incredible. I'm so ecstatic for your news. Which university is it again? It's at Stanford. I still can't believe it. I've been dreaming about this for so long. Stanford, wow. That's a big deal. You're going to have so many amazing opportunities there. What are you planning to specialize in? I'll be focusing on renewable energy systems. It's a field I'm really passionate about, especially with all the current environmental challenges. That's such an important area to be involved in right now. The world needs more dedicated people like you. Thanks. I'm just excited to contribute and learn as much as I can. Plus, being in such a dynamic environment will be inspiring. Definitely. You're going to do great things. Remember us when you're a leading expert in the field. I won't forget. And I'll need all the support I can get. Maybe you can visit me on campus? Count on it. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Brush up on, improve, refresh one's knowledge of something. Have you ever thought about traveling to France? Yes, actually. It's on my bucket list. I've always wanted to see Paris and the countryside. That's awesome. Do you speak any French? I studied it in high school, but I'm pretty rusty. I definitely need to brush up on my French before going. That makes sense. How do you plan to brush up on it? I'm thinking about taking an online course and maybe using some language apps. Do you have any recommendations? Duolingo is pretty good for brushing up on basic skills. 
You could also try watching French movies or listening to French music to get a better feel for the language. Those are great ideas. I'll start with Duolingo and see how it goes from there. Any specific movies or music you'd suggest? For movies, you could start with Amelie or La Haine. As for music, try listening to artists like Edith Piaf or Stromae. Perfect. Thanks for the suggestions. I think brushing up on my French will make the trip much more enjoyable. Definitely. Plus, locals always appreciate it. When you make an effort to speak their language... True. I'll get started on brushing up my skills right away. Can't wait for the trip. Show up, arrive or appear at a place. Are you going to Emma's party this weekend? Yes, I am. Are you? Definitely. I heard it's going to be a big event. Do you know what time we should show up? The invitation says it starts at 7 p.m., but I think most people will start showing up around 7.30. That makes sense. I don't want to be the first one there. Did you decide on a gift yet? Yeah, I got her a nice set of wine glasses. She's been talking about getting some for a while. That's a great idea. I'm still deciding. Maybe I'll go with a gift card to her favorite store. She'd love that. Just make sure you show up with it wrapped nicely. She appreciates the effort. Good point. I'll make it look nice. By the way, do you know if there's a theme for the party? It's semi-formal, so we should show up dressed accordingly. Got it. I'll make sure to dress up a bit. Looking forward to it. Same here. It's going to be a fun night. See you there when you show up. It's now or never. Did you hear about the special discount on flights to Japan? No, I haven't. How much of a discount are we talking about? They're offering 50% off, but only if you book by the end of the week. Wow, that's a huge discount. I've always wanted to visit Japan. Me too. It feels like the perfect opportunity. It's now or never. You're right. We should seriously consider it. Do you have the dates in mind? I was thinking about going during the cherry blossom season. It's supposed to be beautiful then. That sounds amazing. We could visit Kyoto, Tokyo, and maybe even Mount Fuji. Exactly. There's so much to see and do. Should we go ahead and book the tickets? Let's do it. We can plan the details later, but we shouldn't miss out on this deal. Agreed. I'll start looking at the flights and see what works best for both of us. Perfect. This is going to be an incredible trip. I can't wait. Me neither. Let's get this booked and start planning. In the supermarket. Excuse me. Could you help me find the gluten-free pasta? Sure, it's in aisle 7, near the middle section. You'll see a sign labeled, Special Diets. Great, thanks. And do you know if you have almond flour here? Yes, we do. It's actually in the same aisle, but further down towards the end. It's stocked with the other baking supplies. Perfect. 
Oh, one more thing. Where can I find fresh basil? Fresh basil is in the produce section, near the entrance. It should be right next to the tomatoes. Thanks a lot for your help. No problem. Are you trying out a new recipe? Yes. I'm thinking about making gluten-free pasta with a homemade tomato sauce tonight. Sounds delicious. Good luck with your cooking. Thank you. I'll need it. Try out, test or use someone or something to assess their qualities. Have you been to that new Italian restaurant downtown yet? Not yet, but I've heard good things about it. Have you tried it out? Yes, I went there last weekend. I wanted to try out their signature dishes to see if it lived up to the hype. So, what did you think? It was amazing! I tried out their homemade pasta and the margarita pizza. Both were fantastic. That sounds delicious. Did you try out any of their desserts? I did. I couldn't resist trying out their tiramisu. It was the best I've ever had. Wow, now I'm really tempted to go. How was the atmosphere? It was cozy and welcoming. The staff were friendly, and the service was excellent. You should definitely try it out. I'll make a plan to go this weekend. Thanks for the recommendation. No problem. Let me know what you think after you try it out. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Will do. I'm looking forward to it already. That's a game of cat and mouse. I've been trying to book a camping spot at the National Park for next month, but the reservations keep slipping through my fingers. Oh, those spots are notorious for being hard to snag. It's like a game of cat and mouse with the booking system. Exactly. Every time a spot opens up and I try to book it, someone else beats me to it. It's been frustrating. Have you tried logging and write when new slots are released? Usually they update the system early in the morning. I did that today, set my alarm and everything, but by the time I logged in, all the slots for the weekend were taken. That's tough luck. Maybe expand your dates? If you're flexible, you might have better chances during the weekdays. Good idea. I'll give that a shot. This system might drive me nuts, but I'm determined to get a spot. Keep at it, and let me know if you want any help. Maybe we can tag team it one morning. Thanks. I might just take you up on that. Drop out, quit a course, school, or activity. I heard that Mike decided to drop out of the photography class. Did he say why? Yeah, he mentioned it wasn't what he expected. He was looking for something more advanced and felt the course was too basic for him. That's unfortunate. It's tough when the course content doesn't match your skill level. Is he planning to find another class? He's actually thinking about doing a workshop instead, something more hands-on and tailored to experienced photographers. That sounds like a better fit for him. Workshops can offer more direct feedback and faster improvement, especially for someone who already knows the basics. Exactly. And he's really committed to enhancing his skills. Dropping out of the first class might actually give him a better chance to focus on what he really needs. It's good he realized early enough to make a change without wasting more time. Finding the right learning environment can make such a difference. For sure. 
I'm just glad he's continuing to pursue his passion. It'll be interesting to see how his photography evolves after the workshop. Break into, enter forcibly. Did you hear about the break-in at the neighborhood store last night? No, I didn't. What happened? Someone tried to break into the store around midnight. They smashed a window and triggered the alarm. That's awful. Did they manage to steal anything? Luckily, no. The alarm scared them off before they could take anything. The police arrived quickly, but the thieves had already run away. I'm glad they didn't get away with anything. Is the store owner okay? Yeah, he's fine. Just a bit shaken up. He's already got someone to fix the window and is looking into better security measures. That's a good idea. It's scary to think someone would break into a local store like that. Definitely. It's made everyone in the neighborhood more cautious. We're all keeping an eye out for anything suspicious now. It's a good reminder to make sure our own homes are secure, too. You never know when something like that could happen. Boil down to be summarized as. I've been trying to figure out what makes a successful team. I've read several books and articles lately. And what have you found? Is there a common theme? It seems to boil down to communication and trust. Every source I've read emphasizes that without these elements, even the most skilled teams can struggle. That makes sense. I guess when communication is clear and everyone trusts each other, it sets a solid foundation for everything else like creativity and accountability. Exactly! It also mentioned how important it is for leadership to foster these qualities. If leaders model good communication and trust, it tends to filter down through the team. So, in your reading, did it give any specific strategies on how to build these qualities within a team? Yes, a few. Regular team meetings, open feedback channels, team building activities, and transparent decision-making processes were all recommended. It's all about creating an environment where communication and trust are prioritized. That's really insightful. I think any team could benefit from focusing on those areas. Settle down, become stable or calm in one's life or situation. Hey, how have you been lately? I've been doing well, thanks. Just trying to settle down after moving into the new apartment. Oh, you moved? How's the new place? It's great. It's in a quieter neighborhood, which is nice. I've been unpacking and getting everything organized. That sounds like a big change. Do you like it there? Definitely. It feels good to finally have a place where I can settle down. The old place was too hectic. I can imagine. Sometimes a change of scenery is just what you need. Are you planning to stay there long term? Yeah, that's the plan. I'm hoping to stay for at least a few years. It's close to work and has all the amenities I need. That sounds perfect. I remember you were looking for something more stable. Exactly. It feels like the right move. Now, I just need to finish unpacking. And it'll really start to feel like home. Well, it sounds like you're on the right track. Let me know if you need any help with the unpacking.
Checking in before boarding a plane. Excuse me, is this the line for flight 312 to Chicago? Yes, you're in the right place. Are you checking any bags today? Just this one suitcase. All right, I can take that for you. Do you have your ID and boarding pass ready? Yes, here they are. Thank you. Let's get your suitcase tagged. There you go, it's all set to go to Chicago. You can hand it over at the drop-off point just there. Thanks. By the way, which gate do we board from? You'll be boarding from gate 24. Boarding starts in about 40 minutes. So you have some time. Is there a delay, or is it scheduled like this? It's scheduled this way. You might want to grab a coffee or snack. There are several cafes nearby. Great. Thanks for your help. No problem. Have a safe flight. Wind up, end up. Did you hear about the camping trip Mark went on last weekend? Yeah, I heard something about it. How did it go? It was supposed to be a simple weekend trip, but they wound up getting lost in the woods. Really? How did that happen? They took a wrong turn while hiking and wound up miles away from their campsite. They didn't have a map, and their phones had no signal. That sounds stressful. How did they find their way back? They wound up walking for hours until they found a park ranger who guided them back to their campsite. I'm glad they found help. Did they still manage to enjoy the trip? Surprisingly, yes. Even though they wound up in a tough situation, they said it was quite an adventure and made for some great stories. That's good to hear. Sometimes those unexpected moments wind up being the most memorable. Definitely. It just shows that even when things don't go as planned, you can still have a good time. Exactly. I'll have to remind myself of that. Next time, something doesn't go according to plan. Music fan. Hey, I noticed you were wearing a t-shirt from the Solar Waves last tour. Are you a big fan? Yeah, huge fan. I've seen them live three times. How about you? I've only seen them once. But their albums are on constant replay at my place. What's your favorite album? That's a tough choice, but I'd have to go with Echoes of the Horizon. It's got a great mix of their classic sound and some new experimental tracks. What's yours? Midnight Pulse. It was the first album of theirs I listened to. And it just stuck with me. That's a good one. They really hit their stride with that album. Have you heard their latest single? Not yet. But I've been meaning to check it out. Is it good? Definitely. It's a bit different from their usual style, but in a good way. I'll send you a link if you want. Please do. I'd love to hear it. Thanks. <laughs>